the Browns are playing a real team on Sunday and it, it, it is a big game, but I've also seen some people throw out there that this is the biggest game like that the Browns are going to play. And again, maybe I've been guilty of that on a podcast. Maybe I threw that out flippantly, but um, I, I guess I'm wondering how big is this game really in, in your guys' minds? Let's start there. Well, you know what, first of all, uh, I, I don't think it's a, a make or break game. I no. had, I had this one, I had the Ravens and the Steelers all, you know, in the back of my mind as sort of, uh, you know, losses as they go down the stretch here. And that would still give them 10 victories and still a good chance to make the playoffs. Now it, they're not guaranteed to make the playoffs obviously with 10 victories. Uh, but I don't necessarily think this is a make or break game for them. Uh, Obviously, it would be help. It would be helpful to win it. Uh, it would be especially helpful if they could at least win either the Titans game or the Ravens game, in addition to the other games they have to win, uh, and kind of give themselves that little bit of a cushion. But things lined up for them well last weekend, whereby uh, the Ravens, uh, the the Ravens have kind of fallen into disarray, and the and the Colts lost, and all of those things really helped the Browns and takes just a little bit of pressure off this game. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's not important for the playoffs. Uh, I don't know if you guys are aware of the New York Times playoff simulator. It's pretty cool. You can go through and <laughs> uh, figure out the percentages of uh, pretty much any team. You can kind of pick wins and losses who wins each game. Anyways, uh, the Browns losing this game, if they only beat the Giants and the Jets down the stretch, they still have an 85% chance of making the playoffs, which is really good. If they beat the Titans, and then beat the Giants and Jets, assuming they beat those, that they're pretty much in. Like if they win the, beat the Titans, all they got to do is beat the Giants and the Jets 99%. So that's, that's what this game probably means in terms of the playoffs. Not a whole heck of a lot, but I think from a peace of mind standpoint, you want to perform good in this or perform well in this game. You don't want to go out and get shellacked like you did against the Ravens and the Steelers, or else then you start to make, you know, you start thinking about, gosh, can you really compete with good teams? And so you want to avoid that kind of game. I think from that standpoint, it's important, but for not for the playoffs, although Browns fans, I think, just care how this team looks in this game, maybe more so than whether or not they win. So, you know, that's probably the most important thing. Yeah, it's, I guess it's more of like a measuring stick game. I guess if we, if we want to frame it like that, it's more of a, okay, we've seen that you can beat the teams you're supposed to beat. You know, now what, now what are you going to do against the Titans? We, we saw this team beat the Colts. That's been their best win. So now can you kind of one up that a little bit? The Titans are, you know, a little better than the Colts. I know, I know they beat them up pretty badly on Sunday, but you know, the Titans and Colts kind of both at their best are, are similar teams, I think. Um, so, you know, how do you kind of stack up now against Tennessee, who, as Kaderil Hodge put it, is not a super team. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's not wrong about that. So this is a good chance to sort of see how much progress did you really make since that Raiders loss now and, and since you beat the Colts and all of that. Let's let's see where you are heading into December. And I guess that's kind of how I view it um, in this game. Not a must win, but if you go out and lose by two scores and it looks like a two-score game or three scores and it looks like a three-score game, it's not just a couple of cheapies late, I don't think we're going to feel great about it. Yeah, you know what? I think it's matchups. You know, that's, that's the thing. It seems like... Uh, you know, that's why a team that doesn't appear that it could possibly beat another football team uh, and does, a lot of times it comes down to certain matchups on that team. And I feel like uh, the, the Titans offensive line is a little bit vulnerable right now to a Miles Garrett coming back and wanting to really uh, prove himself and change the game and Taylor Lewan being out and them being down to their third string left tackle. I think they're a little bit vulnerable along their offensive line, but also, uh, you know, I think that Derrick Henry will, you know, they'll try to run him a lot and make up for it that way. And then the matchup of the Browns defense versus Derrick Henry. Uh, I think that's a challenging one from the Browns standpoint. And, uh, and so it's just a, a matter of kind of who, who wins, uh, who wins that battle. And I don't know, I guess the way that I see it right now is uh, I feel like Derrick Henry is going to be a lot for them to handle. Uh, coupled with Brian Tannehill, Tannehill having a good season. And then you're talking about, you know, Ronnie Harrison being out and Denzel Ward being out. So I feel like there are some things that the Titans are going to be able to do against this Browns defense. 